know I like that. Here we go. I know it's gonna be a perfect day. Our cruise is coming to an end, but we've still got one more day to live it up. We're exploring the Cocoa Beach Club and relaxing in an overwater cabana. We end our last night with the thrilling show, The Effectors 2, Crash and Burn. One of the things we were most looking forward to on this trip was a visit to Royal Caribbean's private island. So although we were sad to leave St. Thomas, we were excited to travel the 980 miles to make landfall at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Thank you. Okay, girls, where are we at? We are at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Perfect Day. It's a perfect day at Coco Cay. We're parked next to the Liberty of the Seas and the Wander of the Seas, right next to it. Pretty amazing. Two massive, massive ships right next to each other. Look how close they are. I bet you you could throw a paper airplane from one to the other. I bet you could. Look, they're bringing a bunch of provisions onto our ships. That's all the stuff that they need. A lot of that is going to be food and things like that. I'm hoping that the uh, lens on this isn't getting too foggy because it's a little bit out here. Are you excited? Yes, I'm super excited. <laughs> Very excited. Today we've got a little bit of cloud cover out, which is really nice because we got super burned when we were at uh, St. Thomas. So having a little bit of cloud cover is not bad at all. We're gonna take some pictures. Oh, I like that. Here we go. I know it's gonna be a perfect day. Just 
just one look at you And I know it's gonna be So it is truly chill. Now. <laughs> oh, look at all the tie dye. I don't know if I'm bold enough to do that. Tie dye? Yeah. Nice. Mom. Here. <laughs> Bahamas shirt. Monkeys. Yeah. Monkeys. Right, look. Named appropriately, it's chill and it's an island. No. That's why she's my daughter, because she laughs at my jokes. No. Jenga. Connect four. And chess. Ping pong. Beach volleyball. Oh, look, bananas. Oh my gosh. Bananas! <laughs> <laughs> That's how bananas grow. Isn't that cool? Green bananas. Yeah. Well, they might be ripe, so not all the bananas are the same ones that we see in the stores that are yellow. Well, if it's quiet, does it mean no-no? Whoa! -no? Really pretty flowers. Oh, here's an orchid they put onto the face of the tree. I'm sure the orchids grow really well around here. Yeah, Uh, 
chilled. Oh, I tell you, yeah. see, you can cool your sweaty oh. forehead. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, Ooh, nice and chilled. Uh, oh. Yeah. I can see it. Smell it. Like, refreshing. Ooh, smell it. <laughs> <laughs> Since this was our first visit, we decided to treat ourselves with an overwater cabana at Coco Beach Club. The cabana can accommodate up to eight people and includes an overwater hammock, a slide that drops you right into the crystal clear ocean, floating mats, a freshwater shower, and an attendant who will take care of all of your requests. We really appreciated our attendant, Michael, who made sure we were never without a tropical drink in our hand and delicious food in our bellies. This is truly, truly paradise. I mean, we are super spoiled, very fortunate to be able to have this experience. Pretty amazing, perfect day at Coco Cay. I would totally agree with the name of the place. Uh, the weather is gorgeous. It's getting more sunny out. It's definitely warm. The water temperature though is really cool and very refreshing. So this cabana that's on the water, we're on cabana number seven right now, uh, which is really nice. You can see that there's a totally unobstructed view of the ocean. I'd say the water's probably about uh, six, six and a half feet deep from where we are. And then it gets a little more shallow as you go out. You can definitely see some um, waterfowl that are standing in the middle of the ocean and um, eating, but they're just standing up there by themselves. So there's different cabanas all over the place. Some are more recessed and some are more outward facing. We didn't really have a choice on our cabana. They just kind of assigned this one, but we got, a, we got really lucky and got a really nice one. We've seen some um, sea urchins and some uh, jellyfish underwater, which are really cool. We highly recommend anything off the menu at the Cocoa Beach Club. Personally, I tested my own limits. 
by not only ordering, but also eating four whole lobsters. The birds thought the food was amazing too, and we had to keep our food covered so we didn't have unwanted guests. Cabana rental includes a day pass to the Cocoa Beach Club, an exclusive area on the island. Cocoa Beach Club has an infinity pool with a gorgeous ocean view and elevated food options. Because admission is limited, the stretch of beach at Cocoa Beach Club feels almost empty. Jamie, uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Mia. Go ahead. This is pretty good sized. It's pretty warm right now. Looks like you've got tram stops just about everywhere you can go, so that's nice. You don't get stranded anywhere. I see a lot of people walking around. Everybody's enjoying themselves. We decided to do a little exploring outside of the Cocoa Beach Club. There are plenty of complimentary food options and your drink package is accepted on the island. You can also charge souvenir purchases to your shipboard account. We saw plenty of open seating at all of the areas that we passed and were amazed by how many fun options were included without an extra charge. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite activity is at Perfect Day at Coco Cay.
One of the highlights of our trip was our waiter and assistant waiter in the main dining room. Jefferson and Made took such great care of us and were so attentive to dietary needs and preferences. We loved getting to know them over the course of the week and we're so sad to say goodbye. If you find them serving you in the main dining room, you should consider yourself very lucky. We finished up our evening with the superhero theme spectacular, The Effectors 2 Crash and Burn. It was a technologically advanced musical featuring stunning grown choreography, stunts, and a very talented cast. It continues the story from The Effectors, which debuted on Odyssey of the Seas. Okay with us. We hope you like our video and subscribe to our channel.